Team Body Fire, it's four o'clock. You're getting a little bit of a sugar rush, aren't you? You're feeling like you need to have something sweet. Now, we've all got these cheat days, that's absolutely fine. But listen, fatty, put that chocolate bar down. I'm gonna give you the healthy apple pie, <laughs> strong man bar, body fire bar, okay? It's gonna give you something that you can accompany your cup of tea in the afternoon with, which is tasty, healthy, and not ran for the processed sugars. Because listen, if you're trying to get um, fit and trying to get in shape, people talk about, oh, shoehorning stuff into their macros. Can I fit sugar into my macros? No, I call bullshit and all that, because if you're trying to lose weight, you should be dedicated to a good, healthy diet. Once you've got a six pack, then you can start treating yourself. Of course, you can put some cheap days in there, but everything in moderation. This bar is a healthy option for you to go to. Are you ready? Right, this is what you need for your apple pie, body fire, strong man bar. Oh, so strong. Okay, you need pitted dates. These are the ones with no stones in them, okay? Key, because they taste sweet, they've got nice sugars in them, and also they bind everything in the bar together. You've got dried apples. Yummy! These are really tasty as well. Not really, but they taste good in a bar. You've got your nuts, you've got pecans, macadamias, and almonds. Nuts are a great source of fat. Don't go overboard with them, obviously, but they do taste really nice. Now, the key in good eating. Ah, Tagaloa, it is our very own body fire virgin coconut oil. This is a key fat, it's got loads of MCTs in it, so it'll give you good energy to train, helps speed up your metabolism, it also tastes lovely, and it does not taste over coconutty. That's even a phrase. I'm gonna put some spices in there. We've got our ground nutmeg. We've got our, uh, that's nutmeg. That's the ginger. And we've got the cinnamon. Again, you can vary all of these ingredients, the amount of them, the flavor of them. This is just a guideline that we're gonna to use today. And equipment wise, you need a bowl. You need some grease proof paper. You need a, um, I don't know what the correct term for this is. I wanna call it a spatula slash culinary, get the slimy crap out of the pan device. And what I've done as well, secretly, is I've already melted down the coconut oil because you need to do that for this recipe and a food processor. So, let's begin the process. Very easy. Bang your dates into the mix. Get in there. Lovely. Put your apples in there. Happy days. Throw your nuts in there. Easy peasy. Right, now what we're gonna do is pulse these. Okay, which means you have to stand by a little pulse. Just like I'm doing that now. Until you've got them to a nice fine consistency. Might give them a little stir just to loosen them around a bit. Make sure we get the bigger bits at the bottom. See, it's already chopping up nicely. I'm not sure Jamie Oliver's got anything to worry about. There we are. Give it a bit more of a quick stir. See already it's binding together with all those nice bits. The dates have stuck everything together. Give it one more blast. Perfect. Right, pop this in your bowl. There we are. Did have a wooden spoon around here somewhere as well. Just break that up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to put the melted coconut oil in it. There we are. And now we're gonna put some of our spices in there. Okay, so I'm gonna put one teaspoon, or tablespoon, sorry, of, actually, well, I took two in here, because I like cinnamon. And cinnamon is also a good fat burner, helps speed up your metabolism. Put it on top of your coffee in the morning, I bet you didn't know that. There's one. There's two, okay. I'm gonna put in half a teaspoon of nutmeg. I'm trying to do this quite quickly for you guys so you don't fall asleep. There we are, put that in there. And lastly, a bit of ground ginger as well. There we are, perfect, okay. Now what you do, Give it a mix up with a with a 
spoon, but also get your hands in there, just get some of the powder loose in there. Obviously get your hands in, you need to make sure you wash your hands and give mine a little quick whiz under the tap. They are clean already, but just in case. Get your hands in there, give it a good mix. Great for your grip strength as well. Always thinking body far away, getting extra training. Okay, so listen, once you've got the mixture consistent and you're comfortable with it, pop it out. Now, we've got a big baking tray here, but what the best idea I've found is to push it out into the corners. So you've taken up so half the half the tray, because we're trying to make it quite a smart bar. Our presentation is never my strong suit, but we will try to endeavour today to get this to a point where we're comfortable. So we'll take roll that over, so get it nice and covered, and give it a little roll with a rolling pin just to spread it out, try and flatten the whole bar out. Okay, so you roll it down to the corners until you're comfortable that it's in a decent flat reasonably presentable shape. So there we are, roll that back. See that's as good as I'm ever going to get it. We'll show you that, it looks really tasty, it's so sticky it won't fall out. Now, you can either cut it into bars now, wrap it in separate parchment paper because it gets quite sticky and put them in the fridge, or do what I do, which is put it in the fridge if you've got, uh, got room, as a block, and then as and when I want it, I just cut a strip off, take it, I take it as a little treat after training at wasps, Sometimes, if I'm in a real rush, got nothing to eat, then I'll have it with breakfast, but to be honest with you, it's more often used as a snack. Right, Team Body Fart, I'm back. Uh, it is afternoon time, as I said, the snack is ready for eating. Um, I put it away, it's been in the fridge. As you can see, just unwrap it from the foil, and you have your own, not foil, the paper, and you have your own beautiful um, apple pie flavoured Body Fart Strongman Bar. Tastes amazing. Tastes very nice. Wash it down with the green tea. Now, listen, if you enjoyed that recipe, all you need to do is subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you don't understand anything, put it in the comment box, we will come back to you. Go to someone choke on it and die in front of you. Go on our website, www.jhbodyfire.com. Sign up to our mailer. In the mailer, every week, we will be releasing this before anyone else gets it, so you can follow it by putting videos, tips in there, everything else. You need to make sure you subscribe and get involved. Rate this video, we rate ourselves, we shall see you back soon. Mmm, tasty. Mmm, so hot. Submit a photograph with the hashtag modifier. Very similar to this right here. Now, the funnier and wackier, the better.